We last left off with ancient Liyue, beset by an ocean demon and a mountain dragon. Rex Lapis mustered his adept eye hmm. to restore peace to the land. They say that before he set out, he spoke these words. Genshin Impact is a free-to-play, open-world adventure game. Its beautiful graphics, story, soundtrack, and character design is what caught me and many other people this last year. I mean, just look at this game. So many places are wallpaper-worthy, or just nice to sit in, and absorb the environment. When I was sort of Genshin's beta back in early 2020, I just assumed it was another Breath of the Wild copy made by some Chinese company. Well, I was definitely surprised that it was more than just a Zelda clone. Well, now that we're over the main game, let's talk about the Aesdaha in this room. Gacha. So behind this beautiful game, there is a gacha system. If you don't know what a gacha is, I believe it stemmed from those gachapon machines you would find in Japan. So similar to those gachapon machines, you pay some currency, whether in-game or real money, to receive a reward, such as a character or a weapon, at a random chance. Now, if that's a bad thing, it's up to you, but personally, I'm not super against it. I've played a few gacha games in the past, but none of them as impressive and as big as Genshin. So say what you want about gacha games, but Genshin made $100 million in its first two weeks of launch, so I guess it works. <laughs> The game itself has a very fun story which I have enjoyed going through as we adventure through the world known as Teyvat in our search for the main character's sibling, who we lost at the beginning of the game. As I said, characters have been really fun to play with and interact with, whether that be in the main story quests, their own respective character story quests, and other places such as side quests. I guess the only thing I have with this game is the sheer amount of RNG so not only must we roll for the characters we want at small odds, where we are guaranteed a 5 star character within 90 pulls, which is very expensive to acquire by the way with real money, and takes a, a century to get in game like through free to play means. But it's not even guaranteed to be the event character we want, as there is a 50-50 that we have to win. But not only that, we must grind for materials to level up these characters, like artifacts, which has another realm of RNG, which I feel like deserves an entirely separate video. But besides all that, I still think that the game is really fun to play. The combat is really fun and intricate, story is great, game is beautiful, and it's still in progress, so there's still much, much more to uncover. The world building of Genshin Impact just leaves me to want more and see more, and experience more of this huge world, and reach the end of our journey. So. Hopefully we get to see that ending someday, as we're going at quite a slow pace. But to uncover this massive world, we really need a lot of time. <laughs>